Welcome to another Millie Movements video. Today, we're going to be focusing on our arms and there will be optional weights involved. All right, to begin, let's stretch. Bring our arms wide up and then tilt forward. Breathe out and then let's breathe in. Bring it all back up and then release downwards, bending forward. And then one more time, bring it all up, breathe in, your head back, and bring it all forward. Now, what you wanna do is you're gonna take your right hand over to your left, bend your right leg, and bring your left arm up, hold. This is a good side stretch for your spine. Now you're taking your left hand, putting it over your right foot, Bringing your right leg up, make sure your left leg is bent. And breathe deep here. Good job, everybody. Now let's roll up slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. The last thing coming up should be your head. All right. Now we're gonna stretch our arms to the left side. So you're gonna grab your right arm with your left hand and you're going to pull towards the left and bring it to the center and then you're going to do the opposite so you're pulling your left arm with your right towards the right now let's bring our shoulders up hold and release one more time hold it up there release and last one hold your shoulders up and release now we're going to do the standing cat and cow so you want to come forward bend your pelvis and then release extend your chest forward pelvis release extend your chest you should be getting a good nice spine stretch from this okay and now we're going to take our hands we're gonna bring them and interlace them behind us and just lift up like so, and just hold in this position. Good job, everybody. Okay, we're gonna start with some weights. I took my ankle weights and just put them around my hands and we're gonna do some wrist curls 10 times. So you're just curling your wrists in and back and you wanna make sure that your elbows are against your waist here. And if you don't have weights, that's okay. You could do these without. Uh, the weights just help add a little bit more strength. And breathe deep. Okay. Now, keeping your arms the same, we're gonna lift up and down, up and down. So these are bicep curls. You're gonna exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. We're gonna do 10 of these as well. So you wanna make sure the only thing moving here are your arms. By the way, my weights are 2.5 pounds each. You can go up to five if you're feeling it. I, uh, it's tough when you go up to five, but it's a good kick. Now we're gonna put our hands forward like so, and we're gonna hold them up level to our shoulders, curl them inwards, and bring them back out. The only thing here that should be moving is the bottom part from your elbow to your hand. So the top part from your shoulders to your elbow should be still and in line with your shoulders. You're gonna breathe out as you bring them in and then in as you extend. Out as you bring them in and then in as you extend, almost there. And I don't want you to release your hands at all. We're gonna do five circles going one way, slow circles, then five going the other way. And still don't release your arms or hands. We're gonna be pulsing them up and down 10 times. It's sort of burning, but you can do it. Almost there, guys. And then we're gonna release and we're gonna do some swims. So you're just gonna swim out in front of you 
We're gonna do this 10 times. Breathe out as you're swimming your hand out and in as you're bringing it back. Good job, everybody. Now shake it out a little bit. The next move, you're gonna put your arms into cactus. You're gonna bring them in, out, and then curl them into a V, in, out, and curl your wrist the other way. So we're gonna do these 10 times, that's three. Breathe. Now curl the wrists outwards, bring them back in. Cactus, V, bring them back in. You're almost there. Breathe out as you bring them in, in as you bring them out, out again as you lift into a V and back. Good job, everybody. This will really get your arms working. I definitely felt the burn. Now we're just gonna open and close our cactus arms. So exhale as you open, inhale as you close. Exhale, open, inhale, close. You have to make sure here that your arms are level to your shoulders and that each time you open, you squeeze your back. So you're working it out as if you're kind of squeezing something between your back, middle back there. Good job, everybody. Almost there. And now we're gonna lift up, down. Exhale up, inhale down. Two, three, four, five, six, almost there, eight and nine, and one more. Good job, everybody. Now you're gonna take your right arm out beside you and you're gonna bring it to your ear like you're picking up a telephone. Three, breathe out, bring, breathe in, bring it towards you, breathe out, bring it away from you. Keep picking up that telephone. We're doing 10 of these. Only your arm is moving here, nothing else. Your left arm is still as well. Okay, now we're gonna do that on our left arm. So breathe out, pick up, inhale, bring back. Out, pick up, inhale, bring back. Out, pick up, inhale, bring back. Good job. I'm practicing here for my next call. No, I'm kidding. I usually text guys, I don't know about you. I don't really take many phone calls if I don't have to. Almost there. You're gonna bring your right arm in front of you, move it to the side and back in front of you. To the side, breathe out, in in front of you, out. This is three, in in front of you and make sure you're level again with your shoulder. You're at the shoulder height distance for this to really engage. Now twist your arm the other way. And we're gonna do five going the other way. Good job, everybody. So your palm is up this time. We started with our palms down. Now let's do 10 with our left arm. Bring it in front of you, palms down. That's 10, nine, eight, good job, seven, six, breathe out, bring it forward, breathe in, five, and then I want you to flip your palms up. I forgot to do it here for this arm, but that's okay, you can do it, and do five of those. So for the next move, bring both your arms up, palms open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, and then two more, we're doing 10. Good job, everybody. And then we're gonna take our weights behind us like so, and we're going to just lower them and lift them. Lower, breathe out, lift, breathe in. Lower, breathe out, lift, breathe in. The only thing that should be moving here again is from your wrist to your elbow. And this is really working your triceps here. You're gonna feel a little burn in your triceps, almost there. Make sure you're breathing. And 
we are finished with that one. Now what I want you to do is turn to your side and you're gonna sit your bum back. And what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be lifting in a straight line. You're gonna lift onto your knees and push your arms back, squeeze your back and bring them forward in front of you. Lift, push your arms back, exhale, inhale, bring them in front of you. We're gonna do three more like this and we're gonna add a variation in there. Breathe out, breathe in, bring them forward and out, bring them back as you're lifting. So for this next one, you're gonna bring them back, bring them halfway, back again, pause three times, and then bring it forward and sit. Back, bring them halfway, pause three times, squeeze as you pulse, and bring them forward again. Now again, back, bring them halfway, pull back, squeeze three times, pulse, and bring your arms forward. Exhale as you bring it back, inhale halfway, exhale as you squeeze three times, and inhale as you bring it back. Great job, everybody. I'm sure your arms are burning by now, but we're not quite finished. Finish that, but now what I want you to do is I want you to get on your knees and lean forward and use your glutes here. You're gonna bring your arms back and bicep curl forward, back, bicep curl forward, so here you're only moving your arms, your body is tilted forward, you're using your glutes, and we're gonna do 10 of these. Great job, everybody. And then we're gonna actually pulse at the back 10 times. Ooh, that was really burning by now. Almost there, guys. Okay, release. I'm smiling through the pain. You gotta do it too, it's good pain. Now we're gonna do hugs. So we're gonna do one, breathe out as you hug, breathe in as you bring them back. And you don't wanna bring your arms back all the way here, but sort of like a little bit in front of your shoulders. And you wanna be sort of having your arms pretty high up there, almost at your sho shoulder levels. And it's as if you're hugging a big bear have a, and you can have your hands touch at the front. Breathe deeply as you do these, okay. Now just bring your arms in front of you and hold, arms not ours, and hold, 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 release. Let's put our weights to the side, get on our back and sit in a diagonal from your shoulders to your toes. And we're gonna lift our legs up and down. So now we're doing our left leg. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. One more. And let's do that on our right leg. Five, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, three, Two, try to keep your core stable here. The only thing moving should be your leg. Good job, everybody. Now, let's get onto our stomach and we're gonna lay down and put our arms into a cactus shape, lying down. Actually, let's take a breather for one second here because my arms are just burning at this point. Okay, cactus arms. We're gonna exhale, lift our arms up, Inhale, bring them back down. But with your arms, you're also lifting your chest off the ground. Make sure you're using your glutes here and your core is tight. Good job. We're going to do 10 of these. This is really good for your back. Almost there. And now we're gonna bring our arms in front of us and we're gonna lift up and down with our torso. 10 times, breathe out as you lift, inhale as you bring down and just slow, lightly tap the floor. You got it. Make sure you use your core again and your glutes here for some support. Good job, everybody. Now let's get into the cobra pose. We're gonna do some cobra push-ups. So 
Here, what you wanna do is exhale as you lower and bend your arms. Inhale as you lift back up to Cobra. Exhale, lower for nine. Inhale, lift. And then we're gonna do eight, lower, a lift, seven. We're doing these very slowly. Six, good job everybody. Five, four, three, almost there. Two, and last one. Great job. I'm just holding my cobra a little to stretch it out. And then I'm gonna counter that with the child's pose and just breathe here. We're almost done. I think I have one more exercise for you. You can bring your palms up here to stretch out your shoulders more and just breathe and relax for just a few seconds. Guys, we're almost done. Please don't kill me, but you're gonna need your weights again. I hope you kept them somewhere beside you. So I'm gonna put mine back around my wrists. If you have little weight balls, you can hold them or dumbbells. Or if you're just exhausted, you don't have to use weights here. I won't hold you to it because we did a lot on our arms. So let's lift our legs up and our arms up and we're gonna swim that 10 times. Core is strong here. Middle part of your body should be very stable. And now we're gonna take our arms back and lift them 10 times, pulsing, with palms facing downwards. And once you hit 10, you're gonna lift palms up and down for 10 more. And this is the last one, you can do it. Breathe deep and there we go. Now let's stretch all of that hard work out. Let's bend forward and stretch out our arms. And then release, walk your way onto your mat and sit down onto your glutes. Say goodbye to your weights for this workout anyway. I'm just taking them off and you're gonna sit with your legs in this position here and we're gonna bend towards our right side so our right arm is at the top and this is a mermaid stretch left is at the bottom let's do that the other way breathe deep let's do it one more time really good stretch for our whole upper body here abs spine arms now let's shift onto the other side and we're gonna do all that on the other side. So bring your right arm towards the left and then you're gonna bring your left arm back to counter that stretch. We're gonna do that one more time. Breathe out as you stretch, bring it in and then breathe out as you bring it towards the other side. Now I want you to take your right arm with your left and pull it towards you and lift it upwards as you pull. This will give you a really good stretch. We did a lot of work on our arms, shake that out. And then now we're stretching our left arm. We're bringing it towards lifting up, towards the right. Now let's do three arm circles going back, releasing all that tension, then three going forward. And then we're gonna take our head towards our right. Just a little stretch for our neck. Back towards our left. Rolling our head right. And then left. One more time each way. Thanks everyone for joining me. Please like and subscribe my video. See you next time.